there's um, uh, definitely a pattern here with uh, other millionaires that I've been very grateful to speak to um, and surround myself with that everybody thinks that success or making your first million is a very quick achievement but as you say it, it takes years of, of dedication um, and really mastering yourself and focusing on that area uh, that you would look to become successful in. So what would you say after you've done your webinars and, and really shut yourself off to just completely reprogram your mind and the way you approached uh, growth in both your business and personally, what would be your next steps to uh, build this empire with Success Insider to be able to travel and um, speak at all these very different events um, and plus running your own events. What was the transition from, from your house into this world? I suppose, well Success Insider for me is still a baby. Yeah. <laughs> this is behind and I, I'm in it for the impact and I'm in it to just get to the end of it all and just say to myself I've given it my all. Beautiful. Um, just reminding back, you mentioned there about having that vision and what you see for Success Insider. Um, was that A, something that you would recommend for everybody to have and how, how have you um, held that vision? Is it something on a vision board or in a journal or in your mind permanently? Um, and how would you invite the people watching to really attach themselves to that vision so that they do keep taking the action necessary? I believe people have to have the mindset shift. Uh, most people say, I will see it then believe it. I believe it's the other way around. You've got to believe it then you'll see it. And you've got to really believe it deep inside. I, I've started really believing in something greater when I was, uh, even when I was a high school student, I remember I was getting the bus to um, high school and I would always envision myself being confident. Mm -hmm. And even though I wasn't, I was believing I am and one day I began to see the results, I began to see it and that's why I feel like most people cut themselves short. They wait until they see things but that's way too late because that way you know, they don't end up ever taking action. So I believe vision is definitely, definitely important but most people they never dream and it's because we've been conditioned not to dream. Would you recommend combining both this big vision, this dream, a goal, whatever your language might be, um, coming first or first and foremost a vision of who perhaps we uh, know need but will, will become as we grow? Do you think it's a personal vision first or combining both your business vision with or not necessarily even a business vision, I suppose they can become one, but does it start within you first and you create that vision of you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, it's a well-known spiritual concept in regards to the internal world dictating the external world. I've certainly found that to be true. And even if you go into the science world, let's say, um, less of the woo-woo stuff, they've even shown how in regards to self-image, self-image behavior, one of the strongest uh, forces in human psychology is the need to remain congruent with your self-identity. So if I say to myself, for example, I've just quit smoking, and if I tell myself I'm a smoker that's quit, opposed to I'm a non-smoker, well, you've now shot yourself in the foot because now you've got resistance towards creating a new change. Most people out there, they say to themselves, oh, I'm trying to become rich or I'm trying to become an entrepreneur. It's either you're it or you're not. Yeah. And when you really believe it from an identity point of view, your, your force in regards to your behavior follows. So I would say, yeah, definitely upgrade yourself and your goals will follow. And as you are upgrading yourself, just be aware of that language you're using. So making a statement of how you see yourself. Mm, definitely. Um, so I really appreciate you, you giving us this time um, and just to wrap up, what would be your A, your favourite quote, something that's really supported you in this journey that you like to uh, be congruent with now um, and three keys that you believe anybody watching would need or have to implement in order to achieve their success. Three keys, I've probably got like 100 keys. <laughs> <laughs> but three keys, if you want to do 100, no, no, no. we can stay here all night. <laughs> but for the viewers, um, three so important moments or one steps. Of, okay, one of my favorite quotes uh, is Steve Jobs' quotes, as you could probably imagine, since that was the moment I made the decision. Um, his quote goes on the lines of how you cannot connect the dots looking forwards, you can only connect the dots looking backwards. And he told of a story which I believe is beautiful, how he dropped out of college and 
he, he found that to be a very scary decision because his step parents had invested so much money working day and night just to put him through college and now he made the decision to drop out and he felt like a failure. And one day he was just you know lingering about and he ended up in a random class that was teaching him the typo typography. And he was in that class, he had no idea why. He didn't know why this dot was there and he was just studying it. And then what's crazy is several months later when he was building his first Macintosh, the tech, tech guy turns to him and says, hey Steve, we need to choose what, which ty typography to use in this Macintosh. And that's when he realized you cannot connect the dots looking forwards. You can only connect the dots looking backwards. And this is why he says, you just got to trust. Everything's happening to serve you. Life happens for you. And I think that for me has always uh, allowed me to embrace the winds of life, especially in regards to taking big risks I've taken in my life. And it's always allowed me to just trust the journey I'm on. Um, I believe life is serving me at a greater level that I probably cannot even interpret, even if I was to think about it. So I'm just trusting. Um, in regards to the three keys, I believe the first key is that relentless amount of obsession in regards to whatever you want to master in your life. Most people out there, I find, they never get great at anything in life because they never commit to being great. If you look at, for example, Elon Musk, you don't see him taking selfies in the gym on Instagram. Right? <laughs> you know Elon for being Elon, the space vision. If you look at anybody who's a master of their craft, for example, you look at Michael Jordan, what is he the one thing at? You don't see him you know, taking pictures of him doing his chef skills, right? So what you find with world-class leaders is that they've committed to that one thing. They've spent an obsessive amount of hours just doing it constantly. And I remember studying into some of the rituals of some of the highest performing athletes. They simply just, they, they, once they rest, they're back on the track strong every single time and they're training even harder than the coaches want them to train. That's the world-class mindset. And I think most people, they don't commit to mastery. They just try an online business and they try. <laughs> They've already set themselves to fail. They try and tell, they tell everybody, hey, I'm trying to create an online business. They never are an online business owner and they never have that relentless amount of focus, solution focus to make it happen. So that's the first thing, it's that sheer obsession to mastering your craft. The second thing I would say is to become a person of value because money is nothing at the end of the day but a reflection of how much value you've added into people's lives. And when people say to me, Tim, I don't have money, what I often turn around and say to them is because you are out of service. You get money when we're serving. So when we, for example, provide value, that's when you get money. So your bank account right now is showing a reflection of how much value you've added into other people's lives. You work a job, why do you get paid? It's because you're adding value to the company. So your boss is paying your wage because of a certain value you added. Same in the entrepreneurship world. So by focusing on money, we're chasing our own tail. If we focus on the byproduct, which is serving, then you shall get more money. So think about becoming more of a person of a value. That's the second thing. And I would say the third thing is to see yourself in advance in regards to who you really want to become. You know, like you was mentioning earlier, self-image for me is such an important thing. And still to this day, I'm always envisioning my future self. I say to my students all the time, I don't want to recognize who I was last week. I don't want to recognize who I was last month. I want to keep on upgrading myself. And I remember I came across a great question in regards to this. If you think about your dream, if you think about all of the hurdles you have to overcome to achieve that dream, who did you have to become in order for you to achieve that dream? Who did you have to become in order for you to overcome all these obstacles? Because if you step into that person now, you're going to radiate that energy you need. You're going to be solution focused as you need. You're going to have the right mindset that you need to achieve that goal. Because at the end of the day, that's the whole purpose of a goal, I believe, is to see who must you become in order for you to achieve that goal. So the third point is to be that person now, is to see that thing, is to believe it, then you'll see it. Amazing. And as Tim says, there is definitely more than just those three keys. So as we started, hugely recommend following Success Insider and Tim. And of course, I know that I'll be back on the channel tomorrow. I'm committed to these daily videos of inspiration, education, motivation. Thank you for watching, Warriors. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.